Good morning guys. Last night I woke up in the middle of the night. Do you ever do this where you wake up somewhere and you don't even know where you've been just because you've been traveling? Last night I woke up and I thought to myself, I'm like, where am I? And then I thought, I'm in Australia. You guys, I am three days away from competing at the Down Under Championships here in Australia this weekend. And I wanted to share with you guys full day of training, eating, prepping, just kind of hanging out with Ras and I today. So you guys are gonna get to follow along and I'm literally gonna start my morning here stretching. I woke up so early last night. We were so jet lag. I felt we fell asleep at nine and I woke up at six this morning. So I'm gonna start out with some stretching, go to breakfast and then head to the gym. Of course, put my toast pacers on after a full 24 hours of traveling. I needed to space out my feet and my toes just because they were hurting and this feels so good. updated you this morning it was like 7 30 a.m i was so excited we got an early start to the day and it is now 12 p.m 11 50. 11 50. we've been working on our computers since 9 a.m we had breakfast here at the hotel and then now we've just been working 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 and we're here in australia and it's a great start. great start to our trip okay so we've been working 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 and we need to go train or i need to go train because i'm competing this weekend and i'm already hungry because we had breakfast earlier now we've just been working so i don't really know the plan i don't really know where i'm getting with this story but we're going to the viewpoint like the view tower oh we're gonna go to a viewpoint after the gym so i think we're gonna go train then we're gonna go eat then the botanic garden and a few points do it again no he always acts funny when the camera's not on no. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking to Fitness Alley. Today is Tuesday. I compete on Friday. And obviously we had a really long flight. We got in yesterday and we just sweated yesterday and then today we're gonna actually lift some weight. So sweated at the gym, don't say sweated. Sweated at the gym, sorry. <laughs> sweated at the gym. And then today I'm gonna lift some weights just to get the CNS firing. So I'm gonna back squat and then gonna snatch a little bit and then just gonna maybe do like a variation of one or two of the workouts. Not too much, because I don't want to be too sore and I also want to feel good going into Friday. And yeah, that's the plan for this session. Why are people asking about your shoulder? <laughs> I, well, I mean, after the games or during the games, I had that shoulder injury. Well, actually it was my lat slash tricep and I ended up resting. The reason it was made out to be your shoulder. But some reason everyone kept saying shoulder. I don't really know if lat slash tricep is your shoulder. It's kind of an odd area. But anyways, obviously had that injury. And then after the games, I got it checked out. And the doctor ended up telling me that I needed to rest for six to eight weeks to let it heal. So I didn't do any pulling movements, um, anything to bother it for about two months, which kind of worked out because obviously we had the wedding, honeymoon, and all of our travel. And then when I got back to San Diego about a month ago was when I finally started integrating pulling movements, but I didn't do it all right away. So I slowly started integrating everything, but it's feeling 100% not bothering me. So super excited to compete this weekend, obviously. Like, guarantee there's crocodiles in there. Anyway. I don't think there's crocodiles in there. I mean, that would be a prime spot for crocodiles right there. For snakes. Um, but obviously, I mean, this weekend, my, I feel like I'm not where I need to be. I mean, I guess it's November, so there's still a long time to go in the season, but 
it'll be interesting to see where I'm at with my pulling capacity going into this competition, but I'm just honestly excited to compete against the Australian girls, excited to be competing in front of the Australian crowd. I heard the energy is amazing in the, what is this place called? The Wollongong Wollongong. Arena? I don't know the exact name. It's called the Win Arena. The Win Arena, but I've just heard from regionals that it was like so amazing and Khan has talked so highly about it. So cannot wait to compete this weekend. I know it was made out to be, I know why it was made out to be a shoulder injury. Why was it made out to be a shoulder injury? Because it was in your armpit and it wouldn't sound very good if Lauren was like, Lauren suffered an armpit injury. <laughs> so it turned out to be like Lauren suffered a shoulder injury. So that's why Ross is saying that they called it a shoulder injury because it would be weird to say Lauren suffered an armpit injury. I guess if you want to look at it that way. Makes sense. But I'm feeling good and I'm excited to compete and have some fun. Should we run to the gym? No. We did this last night too because we tried to go get the car, but the place was closed, and then we went to get the car today, and then apparently I made the reservation for the wrong dates, but it happened, so now we're going to eat lunch, hopefully feel better after that, and then I'm not sure the plan. minutes to see the blowhole and he's not impressed.
out sushi for dinner tonight after we did a little bit of sightseeing. Honestly, didn't see much besides that blowhole. I wasn't super impressed, to be honest. But at least we got to see something today. Busy training, eating, working, and now relaxing. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna get a massage, get my nails done, and get ready to compete. Wish me luck, everyone. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. Wishing me luck. All right, bye guys.